Chad from Albina Rano Beer Reviews. So this is the bourbon beer and I got kind of curious as I was looking at it as to where it comes from. So I, as far as I can gather this is Gloucester, United Kingdom. <laughs> A lot of different languages on there. That's all I know. Let's pour it. <coughs> So this is the Dead Crow Bourbon Beer, 5.5% alcohol by volume, in a clear bottle. So, quite a pale color, nice creamy head on there, half a finger. Smells really bready. Getting the, getting the bourbon out of it. So the ingredients are, right, contains beer, sugar, bourbon spirit, flavor, citric acid, ascorbic acid, and allergy warning. It contains barley. Okay. I didn't see hops on that list. Beer, sugar, flavor, maybe it's hop extract or something. I don't know. Not taste any hops. <laughs> Actually, a really interesting aroma. Um, as I'm drinking this, it's uh, you're getting the, there is bourbon in there for sure. Smooth mouthfeel, fucking super creamy, incredibly fucking sweet though. Like holy fuck, is this sweet for a beer? With like a sour tang in the back. Clear bottleage. Not I get like a sourness out of it. Maybe that's from from that. I but like I'm not tasting hops. It's really weird. It's like a malt beverage. Okay. <laughs> with bourbon in it. Super creamy head. Incredibly sweet, almost like a, not quite to the level of a pop, but halfway there, three, you know. It's a definitely a unique beer. As to what yeast is pitched in here, I didn't know. It's actually a really, really, really weird beer. I didn't really look into it. I just like opened it and I'm like, now I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> this is interesting shit. Oh, the aroma coming off there is crazy. It's fucking crazy. It's like the weird, it's a, it's a weird, you wouldn't think it'd be a weird beer, but it's weird. Weird shit. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't call it beer. Like that one of the ingredients on there is beer. I don't I don't think this is beer. There's no hops in it. I don't 
It's the weirdest fucking beer. It's not real cold, and that's fine. Uh, a little bit different than what I was expecting. I was expecting like a basically a, a fucking slight amber lager with a bit of bourbon in it <laughs> or something. This is, I don't know what the hell this is this. It's fucking crazy. I guess it's like you're drinking a malt cooler or something. It really is it's sour enough. It's almost coming off like like fruity, like a fucking cooler with the bourbon and the sweetness. And uh, it's foamy. And the, the malt is there, like the barley, but it's not offensive in any way. It's fucking whack. Because there is no fruit in it, I guess, right? So you're getting that sweetness and that tanginess out of... Perhaps a bottle skunk, like there may be hop extract in here. Um, something like that. But it's, it's making it taste like a cooler or a cider almost, but you're getting the malt out of it, and it's blending together, and it's not really offensive, which is really crazy, because, yeah, I would... Uh, you know, because it's... I don't know, it's fucked. It's pretty, pretty tasty, though. It's like fucking... It's like fucking apple juice. What the fuck? This is fucked up. Smelling bananas. crazy holy shit the room was insane like this is the weirdest beer i've been in, like ever i think this is fucked it smells like toffee toffee yeast holy fuck Yeah, it's a weird beer. I don't know what to say. You have to... It's a weird experience. I'd say if you get in a single, pick it up. As for a rate, I don't even know. I don't even know if I can rate that with beer. Like, it's good. It's tasting fucked. Like, it's like a mix between cider and a bunch of crazy shit with no hops in it and malt. And, but, uh... I don't know. It's fucking nuts. I don't know. Okay, there's a real nice toffee like barrel, barrel flavor or like from the bourbon. I'm guessing that's from. So I'm guessing what the bourbon is bringing in the back is really making this beer good. As for everything else, it's totally fucking whacked and unique. Uh, it's not real bad taste. It's definitely a sweet and sour beer. Sorry, I had to put you through that. That was fucked. But this beer is fucked. For being unique or whatever, it's definitely, I'd rather drink one of these over a macro lager still. Uh, well, it's, it's pretty fucked up stuff. It's not exactly beer. Fair bit of quality there. And then, where I say the quality stops, there's just like a whole area of weirdness, which isn't really too bad. It's, it's not as weird as uh, some really shitty craft beer or anything like that. I just can't believe all the banana and toffee's coming off the nose. I'll seven and a half it out of eleven. Yeah, it's it's fucked up stuff. Um, I think some people would really enjoy this beer. Some people would be like, "What the fuck?" It's definitely drinkable though, so it's not like anything you're gonna have to dump out or anything like that. You'll still drink it, but uh, it's fucked. It's like fucking kick-ass malt liquor mixed with bourbon and, and I don't know and lemon juice or something. It's fucked up. Anyway. Seven and a half out of eleven. It's the weirdest beer. If you want to try a fucking weird shit, try this one and I'm out. Yeah!